For my section Roll with my protection Who gon' die next? Ain't tryna get elected Riding by myself Time for some reflection Yo, <clears throat> what's good y'all? Welcome back to another video. If you're new to the channel, welcome. So, uh, this is gonna be like a quick, well, I don't know if it's gonna be quick or not, but it's gonna be a video about what I think about Bird Box. Bird Box, right, the movie that everybody keep talking about. If you guys haven't seen it, you guys need to check it out. Um, this is my option or my opinion on the movie. The movie wasn't bad. You know, Bird Box is basically like, um, like if you ever watched the movie uh, The Quiet Place, it's basically like that. But instead, you're blindfolded. And you basically gotta like do something you gotta do to get somewhere safe but without looking. If that makes sense to you guys. But yeah, it's about, you know, it's basically like the quiet place, but instead you're blindfolded and you're with a group of people that you find out that survived the shit. And you're in the house, and you know, you gotta keep all the window shuts, you know, doors, everything where you can't see outside. Because if you see outside, there's these little monster things, shadow things, whatever the fuck you wanna call it. And basically, if you look outside, and that shit could, like, I don't know how, but if it, like, senses you, you looking out, or, like, looking, it basically, like, gives you, like, these nightmares that. Or like these problems that you had throughout your life and then basically like make you think about that but you're not thinking about anything else other than trying to be with that thing like that whatever you went through that you've been struggling with your life and you basically just wherever you at basically just suicide yourself so yeah so it's about that and when I watch the movie Oh, excuse me, I'm burping. It wasn't bad. It was actually pretty good. I watched the whole thing, and I was just surprised that it wasn't in the movie theater. But if you guys want to know, like, where you can watch it, it you watch it on Netflix. Uh, it's called Bird Box. But anyway, so I watched the whole thing, and it was a pretty good movie. There was some ups and downs about it, because, you know, it all started off with... The one girl, I forgot her name. She's in the Blind Side movie. That one chick, it's her and a couple other people. Um, Machine Gun Kelly was in it, and you know, other people were in it. So anyway, so it was her and the other people. Oh, he got pulled over. <laughs> anyway, so it's her and a bunch of people. They're out in the streets or doing doing whatever, and then people just started going like going crazy because it started happening throughout the world and I guess that shit just started spreading around and I guess where they were most likely they were in California it's, people started I guess they got affected by it so people started going crazy you know running like away from that shit you know people just like out here like just killing themselves so everybody was obviously freaking out like what the fuck's going on so that's going on, that's happening. Um, the main girl that was part of it, she was in the hospital and when that shit went down. She freaked out, she met with her friend in the car to like drive off, I guess she was trying to go to her. I guess the friend was trying to go to her place, if not her mom's crib. And then shit went downhill from that because her friend got affected by it. And she was trying to control the steering wheel and all to like, snap her out of it and shit. That shit wasn't happening, so. Car flipped, yada, yada. Um, car flipped upside down. The friend got out the car. She looked into her eyes, which I'm not sure how she didn't get affected by it, which makes no sense. That's one part. So, she jumps out, 
she gets out of the car, she looks in the front of her eyes, and there was a bus coming at the same time, and, well, she stepped back and the bus ran over. So she died from that whole, you know, shit taking over. So the friend freaked out, she runs, and meanwhile, the friend, the main girl is pregnant. Now, she down fell when she was running. She fell, I think it's two or three times on her stomach. I'm like, damn, she already done killed the baby. You fall down two or three times and somehow the baby came out fine. And you land and you fell on your stomach, which makes some damn sense. So anyway, the, the last part that she fell out, she was in front of a house. A guy and a woman, his wife, ran out to help her. The husband obviously was like, yo, leave her. Forget about her. Come back here. The bitch said, no, I'm running out to her. She got her. She helped her. She tried to help her until she got caught. And then she turned into, like, you know, one of them. So she obviously wasn't paying attention. So while she's trying to save her, there's a car behind her, behind them that's on fire with the door open. So she ended up getting caught with the whole eye thing. Well, the monster or whatever. Whatever the fuck you want to call it. So she, she's not even paying attention. She's just sitting there. And she ended up talks about her mom. But yet she's not realizing, like, what the fuck is going on. So she thinks about her mom, but she walks the car. She walks towards the car that's on fire. And she gets in and sits down. And she basically just sit in the car while she's on fire so she's obviously burning and she ended up dying so the girl that fell down that she was she, she was helping she ended up looking at her and then another guy came in another guy ran out to go save her to bring it in the house so now there's four of them in there and then the cop came so it's five of them in there and they were all in there so they there was like at least Maybe like seven, eight of them niggas in there. So they're in there. They close the door. Uh, the one black guy was like, shut all the windows. They shut all the windows. They closed everything. And they just sit there. So throughout that, you know, they're talking all that. They're watching the news. They see what's going on out there. The whole cable gets cut off. But they still have power. So... They turn off all the screens because even if you look through like the cameras or any type of television and they're seen outside, you basically get caught with that whole creature shit that you basically all you want to do is just kill yourself. So that happens. They tell all that, you know, et cetera, et cetera. So later on, a girl knocks on the door screaming and shit. Everybody ran towards the door. Everybody's like, don't open that store. The black guy, which I don't know how, because usually black people don't you know, make this mistake. The black guy said, I'll open the door. Everybody was like, don't open the door. Because if she gets, if she's one of them and they stare into her, they'll all get affected by it. So he told them to close their eyes. Everybody close their eyes. He opened his door. He gives the girl that was outside the tower to close her eyes. They come in. She comes out. Meanwhile, when the big girl, fat girl, when she comes in, I'm like, oh, nah, she's one of them. Because when you look into her eyes, her eyes were a little red. And she pregnant it, too. So I'm like, oh, they done fucked up. Now they about to get caught by staring into her eyes. And they all going to die. They all stared at each other's eyes, and bam, that's the end of the movie. But apparently she wasn't one of them. So they all in there. Long story short, they go, oh, my nigga Paul. If you don't know that nigga, you remember, uh, what's that movie? Get Out, the black nigga? Not the one that was dating the white girl, but the one that realized what the fuck was going on with the white family. That nigga was in that movie. If you see Carl in any movie, and it's a scary movie, and he says some shit, believe that nigga. Because that nigga is speaking facts. 
whatever he's saying, that shit actually happens. Listen to him. So, Carl's there. There's Carl, the main girl, the black girl. I mean, the black guy. Uh, the old man with the shotgun and the police officer. They all go in the van to go to the supermarket that Carl works at so that way they could get supplies. Now, the only problem is that they can't go outside and just drive on normal without them getting caught and, you know, basically suiciding themselves. So they covered up all the windows in the car, inside and out. Uh, they painted it and shit. And Carl was like, well, even if we do this, how the fuck are we going to get there when we can't see? The black guy said, we use the GPS on the car. Now, I know even if you use the GPS and it tells you where you're going and it tells you to make that turn, nigga, you ain't going to know if you turn it into the pole in, or driving on the driveway, sidewalk, anything. You don't know. And not only that, when if you, if you watch the movie... You know they practice that shit because there ain't no way in hell you just driving a car where you can't see shit and you just dodging everything other than running over the dead bodies is there. So it's like, how the fuck are you doing this like it's nothing? Meanwhile, you can't see shit. So I'm like, well, they practice that shit a bunch of times. So, anyway, they drive in, and the little creature shit, or monsters, whatever the fuck you want to call it, I guess they're seeing them driving the car, and they realize that the car is moving, but there's people in there, but they cover the whole entire car where you can't see outside. So they stop the car because that creature shit is, like, pushing the whole car and shit with the wind, because you can't see the nigga, other than if you're looking at his shadows. So, that's happening. So, Carl's, like, freaking the fuck out. And that was at the point where this nigga was literally about to jump out the car. And everybody was like, yo, hold that nigga back. Like, keep him quiet. Like, tell him to shut up and calm the fuck down. So, they end up holding him back. And then he, he ended up, the black guy that's driving, he ended up gunning that shit. He followed the GPS everywhere, this and that. Crashed into the store. They made it in front of the store. They ran. They covered their eyes get inside the store, they close the store, um, so they're grabbing all the uh, supplies, the old man with the shotgun, he was waiting, he was just waiting and waiting until he got to the liquor part, the nigga got drunk, now, the man is drunk in the movie, before the bad and bougie been on flames, they say they love the sound, don't know the group name, I'm thinking of going to buy my bitch a